In light of the apparent atrocity in Rockville, we want to share a series of emails with you that were sent by the superintendent of Montgomery County, Maryland Schools. A man who calls himself Dr. Jack R. Smith, he sent them to the parents who placed their kids under his care. The emails are fascinating. They're a true showcase of his values. To Dr. Jack R. Smith, the worst crime imaginable is not sexual violence against a child, but naughty language he considers intolerant. An email sent just today, for example, he seems more upset by the aftermath of the alleged crime than by the rape itself. He lectures parents who have voiced their horror about the attack, warning them that, quote, far too many have crossed the line with racist, xenophobic calls and emails. Not only are those calls offensive, he says, but they're also somehow illegal. As he puts it, they will not be tolerated, and they'll be reported to the police of Montgomery County, who presumably have never heard of the First Amendment. He speaks much more harshly about xenophobia than he does about sexual assault of a child. And it's not the only email he sent like this. His colleagues in the Montgomery County school system have sent a ton of them. One week after the November election, his district had every principal send an email that warned hate speech, something they never bothered to define, would be punished severely. They urged kids to report cases of offensive messages to the proper authorities. Last Friday night, the very day after the alleged rape in Rockville, Smith sent a school-wide email lamenting, on the basis of no actual evidence, that, quote, hate-based incidents are on the rise across this country, something a lot of people say, but no one actually proves. And he urges students to participate in a contest denouncing hate, a term that apparently encompasses any political expression that school administrators disagree with. Well, none of this has anything to do with education, of course. It's a political indoctrination, and it's done by force. They're not even trying to hide it. In January, this district took a stand for legal immigration. They sent an email letting parents know that Montgomery County, quote, remains a welcoming learning environment for all students, regardless of immigration status. Teachers, the email continued, will do nothing to report illegal immigrants. Now, you'd think that somewhere, someone in the sprawling and highly paid Montgomery County education complex would pause and regret sending an email like that, given that an illegal alien now stands accused of raping a child in one of their school bathrooms. But apparently there are no second thoughts in Rockville. It's full steam ahead with the same old diversity agenda at all costs. And by the way, if you don't like it, shut up or we'll call the cops.